Hello, and welcome to the TNL Bingo Guide. My name is Oxy. If this is your first time playing a RuneScape Bingo, welcome. Personally, I think you're going to love it. It's some of my favorite content to do ever in old school RuneScape. It's a great way to both meet new people and learn new PVM here in OSRS. That said, if you've never played bingo before, there are some rules. The most important of which being drop submissions. In this video, I'm going to go over how to both collect your drop submission screenshot, make sure it has all the proper elements, and show you how and where to post it in the TNL Discord in order for that tile to get verified off of your board. So without further ado, let's get started. So there's a couple of important things to note about an old school RuneScape bingo. Obviously the objective is to hunt drops, but screenshots of that item in your inventory simply won't cut it. We ask you for a little bit more. The first and most important thing we need is the drop notification within the chat box. These notifications will pop up often in red in your chat box if an item is dropped on the ground that is over your loot value threshold. In order to set your loot value threshold, Go into all settings, type loot. In this first box here, it says loot drop notifications. Make sure this is checked on. The next box down below, minimum item value needed for loot notification. I have mine set to 10K always, but you can set yours to whatever you like. 1 GP, 1000 GP, 10K. I really wouldn't go over 10K because you never know what will be on the board. Finally, untradeable loot notifications will proc every time you get something that, well, you can't trade. Every time you get a dark totem piece, or an ancient shard, or a mossy key, something along those lines, it will show up in the chat box. It is highly recommended to have this box checked off as well, because again, you never know. This is a vanilla feature in old school RuneScape, so that means you can use it on any client, on any device. When all these settings are checked off, and when a drop is more valuable than the loot notification you have set, it will pop up in your chat box as shown on screen now. The second most important piece of bingo is the code word. As soon as the event starts, the admin team will release a special code word that you will use throughout the duration of the bingo. This code word also needs to be displayed on screen. This is to ensure that you got the drop during the allotted time for the event. It would be unfair to post a drop from six months ago and have it try to count for right now. There are a couple different ways to do this. The easiest, most user-friendly, and most set it and forget it way to do this possible is to go into the configuration tab on the very top right hand side of your rune light window, go to the plugin hub at the bottom here, type in clan events, and it should pop up. The very first one by Maz, M-A-Z. When turned on, this plugin will allow you to have an overlay on your screen with the event password as shown in the box below. In this example, the code word for this event is totally real code word 2022. This will not be the code word for this bingo. Feel like I don't need to say it, but I'm going to anyway. You may also choose to include the date and time, but that's not nearly as important. Now, if you do not play on RuneLight or you don't trust the plugin hub, there are other ways to have the code word on screen as well. The easiest is to have it typed out in your chat box. Now, when a drop notification pops up, in this case, 10 Antidote from Zulra, we'll see both the drop notification and the code word for the event. A convenient way to keep the code word on screen at all times is to message it to a friend. That way, it will always be showing on screen. This is what is highly recommended for mobile players. In order to enable this setting, go into the settings tab in your vanilla RuneScape settings, type in friend, and in the box where it says split friends private chat, make sure that is toggled on. This way, whenever you send a message, it will show up above your chat box. Finally, the exact position of the item in the screenshot does not matter. It can be on the ground, it can be in your inventory, it doesn't even have to be in the screenshot at all. As long as the drop notification and the code word are on screen, we will be able to verify the tile properly. Now, how does one submit a tile for a TNL bingo? 
the first step is to get a screenshot from either your RuneScape window or a snipping tool like Yazo or Imgur. And yes, there's a strong chance I pronounced both of those incorrectly. In this example, I was going for the tile, obtain a palm seed from Zalra. As you see, not only did I get the drop on my first KC of the trip, I took my proper screenshot and submitted it to Discord. Once you have that screenshot, make sure it shows both the drop notification in the chat box and the code word somewhere on screen. As long as the code word is completely visible and spelled and formatted correctly, it does not matter where it is on screen. When you see your screenshot is correct, send it to the drop submissions channel in Discord. If you send the correct screenshot, a member of the admin team will be able to verify it with a green check. If you see a green check next to a picture that you post, that means that your team has successfully completed that tile or that piece of that tile. The admin team will keep a collection of the screenshots and we will go through and verify at the end of the event. Now, there are ways to incorrectly submit screenshots. This is something that we want everyone to avoid. In this next example, we see that I have in fact killed Zalra, and I also have a palm seed in my inventory. Now, it makes logical sense that I got the palm seed from Zalra. I don't know about you, but I don't often do farm runs in between Zalra kills or vice versa. That said, without a drop notification in chat, the admin team cannot verify when I was able to obtain this palm seed. So, when I go to post it in Discord, a member of the admin team will mark it with a red X. That means the tile does not count. If you have questions about why a tile does not count, please feel free to ask a member of the admin team in the Bingo General chat. Now that you have the basics for how to submit a bingo tile in the Discord, here are a few tips and tricks to help you along through your bingo journey. If you've never taken a screenshot on your RuneLite window before, or you don't know where these screenshots are stored, go to the RuneLite plugin hub, type the word screenshot, and enter into the screenshot plugin window. Here, you can display the date, and you can set a screenshot hotkey. My screenshot hotkey is control, so every time I hit control, a screenshot will be taken of my window. It will also show what to screenshot. If ticked off, these things will automatically be screenshotted and sent to various folders on your computer. I recommend having at least rewards, pets, PVP kills, and valuable drops checked off within your screenshot menu. You can check off as many or as little as you'd like, but they will all show up if checked off. When taking a screenshot, you will be able to find pictures of various things that have been automatically screenshotted throughout your time playing old school RuneScape. With certain boxes ticked off, you'll be able to automatically screenshot every boss kill and reward chest. In this example, you see a variety of Chambers of Zarek and Theater of Blood reward chests. I have not taken a manual screenshot of any of these. All of these have automatically been pulled right from my rune light window. The next important thing to understand about a TNL bingo is that no matter what, we will not accept rune light loot tab windows as proof of a drop. Yes, I know this sounds a little harsh, but We've found after running many bingos over the course of many years, there truly is no way to prove when a drop was earned within this loot tab window. Therefore, I will say it again. Any drop submitted via the RuneLite loot tracker will not count. All other elements that support when a drop was received will not count if the drop is not in the chat box and the code word is not somewhere on screen. Therefore, Things such as your total XP or the date on your report abuse button will not count. Please make sure you have the code word and the drop notification in chat when you get the item. So that just about covers it for the most important rule of any TNL bingo you will ever participate in ever. If you're still not sure, I highly recommend going back and watching this video one or two more times just to make sure you have all the mechanics. And if you have any questions, please feel free to let us know in the Bingo FAQs channel in our Discord. In addition to this video, there will be a rule sheet detailing each and every rule that we have laid out for TNL Bingo. While most of them are important, and I do recommend you read the entire document, this is far and away the most important thing to understand. I know each and every one of you will be able to submit tiles properly throughout the entirety of Bingo. 
Hopefully, we don't have to give any red X's. From myself and the rest of the TNL Bingo admin team, thank you all so much for listening. I cannot wait to play bingo with each and every one of you. You've stuck around for this long, so figured I might as well leak a tile. The tile in the center of this year's bingo board will be...